Welcome to the adventures of Barnabas Bearfield. I may sound quite calm right now, but the only reason why that is is because I actually have a lot of fun playing this game. And uh, well, I shouldn't be though. I shouldn't be that calm because I actually just recorded an episode. That's my. That's why you might actually uh, see me be in a completely different area at the moment. I'm actually in the nearby town that uh, I was, well, most near. Uh, from the end of the previous episode and I actually said okay we're gonna go and do some PvP and I actually did some PvP but my recording software completely messed up and as a result I have just 20 minutes of black screen which is fantastic so so good and let me tell you I actually did a huge amount of really really fun arena fighting and you know what I'm gonna do some more we're gonna do some more I had I had three battles against a variety of different opponents and I won the first one and I'm not lying here I did win the first one amazingly enough you can't you you probably wouldn't believe me but uh, you know I did win the first one and there's actually a chest here which I would like to be able to loot yes there we go thank you I won the first one and then I lost the second one and I lost the third one but the second one was actually a very close battle the third one was just an absolute stomp I actually got absolutely are you serious right now? <laughs> I actually need to kill boars in this uh, in this area here, so I actually got interrupted. Great. Oh, I can't register to the arena for the next 300 seconds. Lovely. Is this an enemy right here? No, this is just a woodcutter, so sorry. Anyway, point is, the first, the first battle I had was against a guy that had a relatively similar weapon that I have, so just a two-handed sword. Then the next one was against a guy with a sword and a shield. And then the next one was was with uh, someone that I think was pretty high level. I think they were pretty high level because they had a, uh, a really good understanding and knowledge of how to fight in the game. They had a shield and like a pokey stick, pokey stick thing. And it may sound hilarious for me to get beaten by someone with a pokey stick thing, but it's true. <laughs> it is absolutely true. Anyway, I have a quest now uh, and I have leveled up a couple of times as well. And I uh, really wish that you'd seen all of that, because that would have been a lot of fun. And, uh, well, whatever the case, I did level up, and I've, I've specced a little bit more into Constitution, and I made the decision that I'm actually going to start specking into Constitution now, no matter what. So, it doesn't really matter whether I, it's going to cost me more skill points or anything like that, because I think that Constitution's going to be quite important, especially considering I'm awful at blocking. And let me tell you, in that, in that third battle, I actually blocked one of the attacks. Can you imagine? Yeah. That's that's kind of insane for me because I'm pretty awful at blocking, but hopefully I will be able to get into another arena fight relatively soon, but now I need to collect stone resources, so let's actually get on over there. Let me just holster my weapon real quick and run over. Is this stone? Is this stone right here? I think this might be stone, so let's get out my uh, wonderful pickaxe. Limestone. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so I have a whole bunch of things in my bags here, and I'm going to need to do something about that because I literally do not have any other bags as far as I'm aware. Oh, yeah, fertilizer, by the way, stacks on itself by a massive amount. Uh, so you can literally just stack it massively in uh, in the areas. And so, for example, I've got this. I've got, like, what, 231. But uh, amazingly enough, the... Uh, the uh, the fertilizer does not stack automatically, so you're going to need to do that yourself. But anyway, I'm going to just eat these mushrooms because, as you can see, they have an expiration date of four days, well, technically five days, and I don't want them going bad. Also, sweets from Santa. You may have wondered where I got these sweets from Santa from. There are uh, little uh, little presents on the floor in the game, and you will be able to loot those, and then you get these uh, these little sweets from Santa and they give you 20 nourishment and maximum stamina and so on and so forth and these these boars are getting on my nerves right now because I already had a terrible terrible time in the, in the previous episode losing all of that footage but yes anyway let me let me mine this and Barnabas will be pleased to do that thank you very much there we go there's more stone okay so we only need one more that should be easy enough. Oh, look at this. You can upgrade every location controlled by your nation. Left click on the flag or the architects table to open the upgrades overview. Right. Left click on the flag. 
Well, I'm not seeing any flag right now. I'm not entirely sure why they would give me this this prompt right now. But uh, thank you. It's, it's good to know. It's good to know that uh, I can upgrade certain locations. I think that's probably going to be a thing that I'll most likely be doing because I'm, as I say, not particularly the best at uh, frontline fighting. Ah, so another minute. Another minute until we can actually do that. That's absolutely fine. Now, the cool thing about participating in the arena is that no matter whether you win or lose, you gain a decent amount of experience. If you win, you gain triple the amount, as far as I'm aware. Triple the amount than if you would lose. And that's, in my opinion, really, really fair system. I like that quite a bit because that means that even if you are the worst fighter in the world, like I am, then you can basically... Uh, have a fun time in the arena as well as gain a little bit of experience while you're doing it. And if you win, obviously you gain arena points. And if you lose, you don't go, you don't gain any arena points, which is fair enough. You do gain experience no matter what, though. Just a little, a uh, little bit less if you lose. So there we go. Let's let's queue for the arena. I feel like it uh, it giving me a penalty for being interrupted by an opponent, by, by like an NPC, is a bit harsh. But I can understand why they would do that, because they want to prevent people from kind of uh, messing around with it, or, I, I suppose, or something like that. Oh, look at this. What? what, what? Why is this out here? What are you doing out here, a met metallic fur furnace? Yeah, there we go. Private workshop can't be used by other players in your nation. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Oh, yeah, I was kind of interested and kind of intrigued to see what was going on there, but apparently that is nothing for me. So, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to keep walking around here because the cool thing about the arena, uh, apart from all of the other things that I've already said, is the fact that when you exit from either being murdered or doing the murdering, you're going to be in the town, and then you can speak to your, your quest guy, or at least the quest guy that I need to speak to right now, which I think is pretty cool too, because that means that it's kind of like a free, a free quick travel, so you don't even need to worry about it too much. This guy seems to have a two-handed sword, but he's probably going to switch to his shield. He seems to have some pretty decent gear on, so I'm <laughs> not, not really looking forward for this, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can do this. I'm not entirely sure how, how we'll do because, as I say, I am pretty awful at blocking. And uh, I, f I personally feel like if you're really, really good at defense, if you're really good at defense, you're going to have a much easier time of things in this kind of arena, in this kind of arena fight. Okay, I've got to be careful here, because my stamina is certainly a thing. A, a block! That was a nice block, sir. That was a wonderful, wonderful block. Oh, this is actually a really, really fun duel as well, because we're both attacking, we're both blocking, well, not me. Ah, almost, almost, that was actually really close, or at least, was it? <laughs> not entirely sure, not entirely sure, but that was cool. That was a that was a fun fight. That wasn't, uh, it wasn't a frustrating fight or anything like that. I feel like the PvP is actually really fun in this game. And usually I'm not really that big a fan of the PvP combat in games because I'm generally kind of awful at it. So generally I tend to prefer PvE. But I feel like Gloria Victus does the combat quite nicely because, as I say, even if you lose, you have a bunch of fun and you do get some experience. You just don't get the arena arena points. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go here and we'll just hand this in. Oh, burn their tents. Oh, I'm going to look forward to this. Okay, so we're now level 26. That's actually really nice. And we've got, oh yeah, we've got so many skill points. Oh, look at that. We're actually 27. We leveled up twice. Great. So that means I'm going to spec more into constitution. There we go. And we also want to spec a little bit into our skill points. So this is armor penetration. To weapons with armor penetration. Do I want to spec into that? Increases uh, damage dealt to enemy shields by 1%. Oh, that sounds like a really, really cool thing. So I'd like to be able to do that if at all possible. So I guess we'll just continue going up. Because I want to try and destroy uh, enemy shields. Because it seems like a lot of people do tend to equip shields in this game. So it would be quite nice to uh, try and counter that. Just a little bit, you know. Not, not too dramatically because I doubt that you're going to be given the ability to completely destroy a shield in two or 
three attacks, but it's going to give you that little bit of extra assistance. Oh yeah, by the way, I also received a hint earlier that says, you should probably close the gate. You should probably close the gate because let's face it, if some idiot like, let's say Barnabas, runs out of one of the most fortified castle ever and it's just like, toodaloo fellows, and uh, he leaves the door open and then the enemy invasion force comes in, they can just enter. <laughs> You know, they can just enter no problem at all without any difficulties whatsoever. Which I think is actually kind of cool in the way that it does things because it's very realistic in that sense. And I think realism, especially in this kind of setting, is very fun because everything's realistic about the game. You know, it, there's, no, there's no low fantasy elements. There's no magic or anything like that as far as I'm aware. And you've got to eat to uh, keep your... You know, keep your energy up, and uh, it actually does have a gameplay benefit. You know, it does have a gameplay benefit, apart from you just dying instantly. So as you can see right here, look at this. Our food is currently 717 out of 1,000. Being full provides benefits to health, stamina, and regeneration. And I think that's pretty cool, because if you don't have those things, you're going to be a lot worse off. And so making sure you have a good food source, so in other words... For me, at the moment, they are Santa's candies, <laughs> which is hilarious in itself. And, uh, hello. Uh, are you, uh, yeah, you're, you're an enemy, aren't you? Yeah, he, he was, he was, he was sleeping. Did you see that? He was sleeping, like no one's business. Anyway, uh, let's see what we can do. Whoa, okay. We're having some, uh, Vlad the Impaler kind of stuff going on here. What's, what's that? Oh, wow. Okay, well... Uh, don't stop me now then. Okay, what do I have to do? So I have to save the kidnapped people. I can assume they're probably going to be over here in that cage. So let's see if I can do some damage. Boom. Yeah, there we go. That was some nice damage. Bear in mind that the best thing that I can do to attack is to always charge up my attack the most that I can and then unleash. That will give me more damage bonuses. There we go. Nice. How many tents do I have to burn? Ten of them. Okay. That's absolutely fine. No problem at all there. And how many do I need to rescue? I guess we'll see after this, after we open up this cage. And uh, I think, um, yeah, I think after this quest, this object is controlled by the enemy. Well, yeah, I know it is, but uh, there we go. We've saved a couple of kidnapped people. So 25%, so we need to save a couple more, and then that's fine. Hello. Hello, Soul Eater. You're a level 20. Whoa, this guy looks This guy looks fierce. I wonder whether he's going to be as easy as he doesn't look. Because he actually looks kind of tough. There we go. Wow, that was almost 2,000 experience right there. Give me that. That's a battered case right there. Also, some chests. Whoa, okay. They are sacrificing people. This is some serious business right here. Yeah, Barnabas. Serious business. <laughs> Uh, can you imagine just some guy named Barnabas going up to these things and being like, oh, this is some, oh, this is serious, you know, that's, uh, that's definitely the kind of thing he'd do, I guess. Okay, ah, seems like I'm being shot. Not very fun, thank you. Take, take that. Okay, so let's set fire to these tents over here as well, and I'm actually wondering where the other kidnapped, uh, kidnapped people are, because there's another cage here. It seems like maybe someone has just come by. And, oh, did I not do that? Oh, there we go. I saved. Oh, okay, okay. So it seems like this this particular model over here is a little bit bugged. But that's fine. The game is still technically in development. So all these things are, you know, going to be uh, improved upon and so on and so forth. An ancient evil has arisen in the catacombs of the Forsaken Path. Rumors speak of souls who have come back from the realm of the dead via foul pagan rituals and creatures from the darkest tales. By the forefather's beard, send them back to their eternal slumber. All right, that seems cool. So there, there is maybe a little bit of uh, low fantasy elements, like undead or something like that, maybe? I know that, uh, I think some people have mentioned that the game has zombies or something like that in, the, in in it. So, yeah, I think there might be something along those lines going on, which I think is pretty cool. I like zombies, so yeah, I'm happy with that. There we go. Okay, so we've saved 75% of those, and now we can set the tent on fire. So we've done 50% of those as well. So let's actually see what, we've, what we're going to get here. We're going to get a little bit of extra experience, some diluted wine, and some cash and, every, and everything. It's pretty cool. 
And there is a huge amount of extra enemies over in this direction as well. So we can't just go over the, this one area. We've got to we've got to explore everywhere. And uh, after I've done this, we're going to go and uh, queue up for another arena fight and see if I can maybe get a little bit of a little bit of luck on my side. And uh, maybe I'll win. Who knows? Because the one time I won, I did get 97,000 or 92,000 experience in comparison to, I think, when you lose, you gain like 30, something like that. So you gain triple the amount when you win, which is, I think, pretty cool. All right, let's set this on fire as well. And we just need to rescue one more, and then we will be good. And, uh, yeah, then, as I say, we'll queue up for the arena. And then if we win or lose, it doesn't matter. We can just head back to the town it will just automatically port me back to the town which i think is pretty cool i like that it's 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 kind of uh it's kind of a nice game in that respect where it doesn't really waste your time in a massive amount of ways because it's kind of giving you a lot of convenience i know a lot of games tend not to do that especially mmorpgs they're going to try and waste your time as much as possible but this one seems to know that you don't really want to be wasting time and you really just want to get to where you want to go as soon as possible and within a realistic amount of sense you know what i mean that kind of makes all the difference aha it seems like we have an optional objective kill the soul eater and the giant in the cave okay let's go let's go and see what's going on there barnabas is chomping at the bit to uh <laughs> fight a Fight a soul eater, yes. I'm sure he, he I'm sure he's going to absolutely be uh, very, very pleased about me going and fighting this in the cave. I th it's in the cave, right? Yeah, in the cave. All right, let's uh, let's kill let's kill the soul eater again then, because apparently this is the thing that I killed before that I think was for the quest. Is it? No. Doesn't seem like it. Someone is actually shooting me. How dare you? This is not very nice of you. Can I pull this out? There we go. There we are. There are actually sieges going on as well. I definitely need to get into some siege combat. I think that's going to be really, really fun. Because the arena, while I'm not a big fan of one versus one duels and combat and things like that, in, in that same, in that kind of way, I think the siege combat is going to be even better. So, going to be looking forward to that. Let's uh, use the lever. There we go. Ah! That is a very big enemy. I was not I was not expecting such a big enemy. Okay. Ah, uh, this is going to be interesting. What level is this guy? He's a level 30. Okay, I'm kind of level 30, but uh yeah, I'm I'm taking a battering, but thankfully I can kind of uh, avoid his attacks a little bit. Wow. What how th wow, that was a lot of damage. Ooh, a light giants. Oh, yes. Give me this. I like it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's run. Go, 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 Barnabas. Go, Barnabas. I need you to go and pick up this loot. I have no space. Are you serious? Come on, drop the bucket of water, I guess. There we go. And I need to loot this as well. Treasure. Look, it's treasure, Barnabas. Are you serious? Drop this. Can you... Ah, uh, you... You're, 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 you're... Working me, grinding my gears, you're grinding my gears, Barnabas. You've got so much in in your bags. While managing your equipment, take into consideration that you may lose individual items on death in PvP. It's a good idea to have another set of armor or weapons. Ah, yes, it certainly is. Well, thankfully, we uh, we achieved victory there, and now I will queue up for an arena to get myself out of this sticky situation. Yeah, look at this. So we've got something going on there. There seems to be, yeah, look at that. There seems to be a whole bunch of siege combat going on in that area. And there seems to be, a, oh, look at this. There seems to be a lot of combat going over, going on over here. So the Sangma Empire seems to be expanding relatively nicely. So that's very good for them. And, oh, look at this. I have found an opponent. Okay. Let's uh, let's get prepared, fellows, and see if we will be victorious this time around. It is highly unlikely, but you never know. Maybe, maybe we'll do it. As I say, I feel like most people are going to be very good at this game by now because the game has been out for a while, and uh, it's going to give them a 
pretty sizable amount of time to get prepared. So let's see what we can do here. Of course, actually doing arena is a decent way to level up. If you don't actually want to do any questing or anything like that, then you can actually level up by going into the arena and it gives you a sizable, a ch a sizable chunk of your level, which I think is pretty nice. So it's pretty, pretty handy. Oh, this guy's really, oh wow, okay, yeah, he, he's got some really, really good, really, really good actions on him. Ah, oh, I actually almost blocked that, did you see that? I actually almost blocked it, yeah, well, never mind, that was a very, very quick fight, indeed. But, that's fine, because I really just wanted to get the, the, the nice little fast travel back to the town, and that's all I wanted. And as I said in the previous, rec lost episode recording, uh, I did actually do a little bit better, but, oh well. Never mind. I guess, you know, it really depends on the on the opponent as well. Because if you get an opponent that is really good, then you're just never, ever going to uh, hit them or have any chance of winning. But that's fine, because I had a lot of fun, as I say, and getting a good amount of experience as well. We gained 27,000 experience from that loss, which I think is decent. I don't think that's too bad. So let's go over here. And I'm going to pick up, uh, actually I've got enough sweets from Santa actually, so I don't really need to loot anymore. But we're just going to hand in our quest to Edmund here. Ooh, nice. We, we might actually get the opportunity to pick up something. Uh, yeah, I do need to use, oh, I should have used my, my new, oh uh, yeah, I should have used my new weapon actually against that guy in the arena. Because look, that is so much better than what I'm using, right? Oh, it's actually not even that much better. Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit better. Oh well. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to take the uh, medium armor, because I think medium armor is pretty decent for what I like to do. Kind of middle of the road kind of stuff. And there we are. Okay. Nice. So, as you can see, he's just basically giving us uh, the ability to find out where Dunfin is. Oh, look at this. You can actually travel there immediately if we want to. Let's do it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so they do actually give you the opportunity to fast travel in between areas without using the arena, which I think is really nice. Did not realize that that would be the case. Wow, there are some really... Wow, look at these guys. They've got some really, really cool gear. And this is the pokey stick, by the way. This is the pokey stick that was actually fighting me in the arena beforehand. And you can kind of tell that it is kind of difficult to play against. Because if you play against it, basically you're just going to be always out of range. Especially with a two-handed sword. You're never going to get close to someone that has a pike like that. It's just really impossible. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.